Hey there folks, Uncle Troy here. Today we're playing Minecraft Feed the Beast, the Mindcrack Mod Pack 8.2.0 I believe. In previous videos we have uh, figured out how to use the assembly table and some frickin' laser beams to um, build stuff like Art Arctic Gates, and I still don't know how to pronounce that, uh, which we use to uh, automate the assembly table itself and our self-emptying ender chest. In the last video I created a uh, setup where uh, the automatic turtle XP farm uh, got rid of about three um, redstone engines replacing with a single gate which seems to work better and this episode we are going to figure out how to automate our charcoal experience farm and our automatic charcoal power plant using these gates. And this was supposed to be part of the last video, but the last video ran long, so I needed to cut it up into two videos, but then I needed to add this intro, which makes this video longer. Okay, on with the show. Okay, here's our little uh, charcoal farm. It's also an experience farm, uh, where um, up above us is a tree farm. Things get sorted there. and the logs come down this way go down into this barrel here and get pumped out with this um, redstone engine which uh, gets sped up by this gold pipe and goes down into the top of one of these furnaces assuming that it needs filled up, and if it doesn't fall into any of these furnaces, and sometimes it doesn't because every time it hits a, uh, a uh, branch here, it's got a 50-50 chance of going either way. So it might go down into here, and it might go up into there. So that's what all that's for, and that's why we got a loop that comes back over here and back into the thing. Now the problem is that I will forget to leave this running when I'm taking stuff out of the... Uh, furnaces, for example, this one down here is not completely full, or I will forget to turn it off when I leave and I'll come back and there'll be logs all over the place because these pipes leak a little sometimes, especially if you're going in and out of these portals, that's a portal, uh, or leave the, uh, leave the area and come back. So we're wanting to try to figure out some way to take care of this. Now we could put a, a gate right here. Well, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take away this and this. Easy, easy, easy. There we go. Now, we could put an autarctic gate here and tell it something like if there's stuff in this inventory pump, but that will just pump all the time. So we need a way of sensing whether this here, the upper part, because that's where the pipe comes in, has space. And I believe we can do that with a different type of gate called an iron gate. And we'll need some red pipe wire. So we're going to put that there and we're going to put this iron ore gate here. And we're going to run red pipe wire between them. And what I think we can do is set this to where if you are receiving a red pipe signal, do the energy pulser thing. This one we can set to um, uh, space in inventory, send a red pipe signal. So in theory, we take that out. We'll take these out. Yes, that worked. All right, so that's got that one going. But you say, what about the rest of them here? Am I going to have to put a uh, iron ore gate on every one of those? And I don't think we are. I think what we can do is we can put one here, maybe one about halfway down, and then one at the end. And that should be sufficient. Turn you on. Magic lasers. <laughs> All right, and I will need another iron ore gate or two which will take quite a while because it needs 40,000 uh, units and we're only getting that many at a whack. I need to uh, 
make some uh, up oh, now that I'm away from the mob spawner I can turn my sound back up yes I like the sound of the uh, jetpack Okay, so we need two more iron ore gates, so this will take a while, so I will be back with you shortly. Oh, while that's uh, going, I wanted to test out something. Uh, I had to mention Electrum in a previous video, and somebody had sa and said that I had not uh, found any Electrum, and it turns out you make Electrum by combining gold dust with silver dust, uh, which produces Electrum dust. And electrum dust can then be um, smelted to make electrum ingots. So we're going to let that run for a while. And here's another place where that uh, Autarctic gate could be come in handy. But not up here. Up here is where the macerator feeds into the hopper that feeds to the uh, electric furnace. And this one I would like to be able to turn on and off. So a switch connected to a redstone engine should work just fine. But this one here probably could be replaced with a uh, Autarctic gate. Let's see. Do I have an extra Autarctic gate? I do. And I'm hoping that's uh, feeding from here, uh, when it says items in inventory, and not over here at this uh, chest. Otherwise, that thing will run all the time. But hopefully that won't be too big of a problem. But anyway, there's another use for the gates. All right, have you finished over here? Yes, you have. Here's two more iron ore gates and quite a bit of redstone pipe wire. So as you can see when uh, this furnace gets some uh, gets some space in it uh, it sends a signal sends that off. Let's see. Oops. Nope. We keep our extra redstone engines and levers here. So what I figure is uh, about halfway down here well all the way down here we're going to put a gate that says um, inventory empty yep. can do nothing because we haven't uh, put the pipe wire on it yet oops pipe wires are a nice convenient way to uh, send a signal along a pipe without having to like run redstone all around okay good good and then let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. At about halfway, it's about halfway. This one will also, when uh, inventory is empty, send a redstone pipe signal. So the way I normally use this is I come here, I take out all the uh, charcoal to get the experience, pop the charcoal back in, go to the next one, all the charcoal out, pop some charcoal back in using shift click. The uh, redstone gate thing here is waiting for this to be empty, and then it will send more out, which will take a few seconds. So let's just say this one became empty. Sent off a redstone signal, which turned on the pump. And as you can see, about half of them go down, about half of them go on, which means there's a chance they'll fall into these others. And that will go on, and then when all these furnaces go dark, then we know we're finished. So, okay. And something just exploded. These pipes just exploded. I left that running, uh, even though I was no longer using the assembly table. And a cobblestone pipe right here built up enough power to uh, to blow up. So that's why you don't leave these things running when you're not around. So I need to figure out a way to uh, 
I don't know, fix that somehow. Let's see, take that. Take a single piece of redstone. Combine the two. And we have stone conductive pipe. Which I think is what I used here. There we go. Engines pump into this uh, wooden conductive pipe, which goes into the stone conductive pipe, which goes down into the lasers. Which creates more redstone uh, iron chipset because I appear to be out of those. And I could probably use some more gates, regular old gates. I'm going to leave that running. Let's go over here and see how our charcoal farm is doing. Carrots are good for your eyes. The lasers are being powered by these uh, charcoal generators, which, as you can see, is being powered by this. Ooh, here's another place we could use some type of Autarctic gate. It'll probably have to be an iron gate. Yes. 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 All right, so I'll need a Autarctic iron gate and another iron gate. Uh, this will take a while. I'll get back with you. Okay, I just missed it because I hit the wrong key, but uh, this one went empty and uh, turned on the pump. Now, as you can see, it's almost full of charcoal, so it's about to shut down anyway, as have all of these. There we go. So as you can see, it has turned on the redstone pulse, and which turns on the uh, or turned on the redstone signal, which turns on the pulse here. And because this thing is way out here at the end, which is feeding that uh, pulse all the way out. Did I not set that up properly? Apparently I didn't. There we go. Now it's sending a redstone pipe signal. And as you can see, these things are more likely to fall into the first, you know, they got a 50-50 chance of falling here, 50-50 chance of falling here. So about half of them drop here, quarter of them drop here, an eighth drop here, et cetera, et cetera, and so on. But eventually this first one will get full and the pipes are smart enough to uh, not drop things down in there if they're already full. Uh, now the transport pipes however are not as smart as the tubes, pneumatic tubes, but I don't understand how pneumatic tubes work yet. So oops, this is not producing anything. We've got our iron ore gate um, we need some redstone. Okay, good. That didn't overheat and explode, so it must not have been uh, too bad. Redstone iron chip set here. See, we're getting 16.8 Minecraft jewels per tick. And quite a bit stored here, so we're doing good. These engines are up to full power. Doing good, good, good. Yeah, bio generators working, and this is pumping and putting stuff into these generators. Um, the way I've got this set up is that we've got a bat box here, and when the bat box and the bat box feeds the MFSU, MFSU, yes, and the bat box is set through this little option panel here. When it has no power, it sends out a redstone signal, which goes over here and powers this uh, pump, which pumps charcoal. down in here which goes to a random furnace or excuse me a random generator so in theory it will go as an even equal chance of going to any of these and that will uh, top off the bat box which will top off the MFSU once the bat box gets above minimum power it turns off the signal and that way we use a bare minimum of charcoal because the generators here uh, if you give them plenty of charcoal uh, and you're not taking power away eventually this gauge will fill up and if this gauge so much as goes down at all tiny draw a tiny bit of power it will burn a whole other piece of charcoal just to bring it up that tiny sliver uh, which will be wasted charcoal however with this contraption here 
we now have pretty much all the charcoal we need. As you can see, the the uh, oops, yeah, the uh, the wood is not making it out there yet because all these are still uh, not full. But eventually, they will make it all the way out to the end. This will turn off. Redstone pop signal will uh, turn off, and it will stop pumping. Like I said, I think this is going to be, well, it's not going to be more efficient. Yeah, that one ran out, so it turned on as well. Uh, it's not going to be more efficient, but it is going to keep me from having to flip a switch here every time I come by. All right. Okay, good. We've okay. We got an iron ore gate. We need a an Arctic iron ore gate. The iron ore gate is necessary as opposed to a plain old gate or an Arctic gate, because the iron ore gate can um, uh, interact with redstone with red pipe wire. So that's why you need the iron ore gate and the an Arctic gate is necessary because that's the one that can send the pulses like this one here this one I think does not have that option no no we've almost made our gate we may need some more red pipe wire for which we need some rose red and yes I know you don't need to uh, Use a crafting table to do that. Oops. All right. Let's stop. Turn you off. Wait for all those to go in. As you can see, I used an Autarctic gate here. What I want to do is, I want to get rid of this here uh, bat box altogether and all this copper cable here because the copper cable is not overly uh, efficient. We also want to get rid of this here and this. Okay, so we want to put the gates. We want to put a uh, an arctic gate here. Iron uh, however you pronounce it, gate here. And we want to put the other gate over here somewhere. like in the very back here. And then we want to run redstone pipe wire between the two. There we go. All right, I think that's got it. From there to there. Um, inventory empty, send a red pipe signal. which actually isn't empty. There we go. And up here we're going to say red pipe signal on, turn on the energy pulser. Start sending charcoal through any second now. Add a pretty good clip, which will go randomly into different uh, generators. But because this thing's back here on the end, this generator will be one of the last filled up. Yes, it finally got something in there. So as you can see, pretty much all these uh, generators got something. But right now they're not connected to anything. So we need us... Did we get our Electrum? Yes, we got our Electrum alloy. Electric ingots. Um, doo -doo -doo. And I think we need this and this. What I'm wanting to make is glass fiber cable. Fibra. Which involves redstone, diamonds, and glass. Or... If you have Electrum, requires Electrum, Diamonds, and Glass, but makes eight instead of four or six. 
So it's a little more efficient. Still going to need a few diamonds, though. It's okay. As you can see, I have diamonds. So let's see. We need... Uh, we'll just go ahead and make, like, two batches. Shift-click. There we go. One batch. Two batch. Shift-click. Shift-click. Click, click, click. Click, 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 click. Now all this, including the bio generator here, should come into this MFSU. And because uh, these uh, generators are not um, filtered through the uh, bat box that was here, this MFSU should uh, pick up power faster. All right, meanwhile, back at the charcoal farm. These furnaces are completely full. This furnace there, way down here at the end is not, so we're going to keep pumping until it is full, or at least gets some into it. So in theory, every one of these furnaces should have more in it than this last one. So eventually, they will all be full, and they will all be ready for us to go through and and pull them out again. So let's oops, want to fill in everything so we don't have a spider or something spawn down here later. Alrighty, and where's my good stone? Very nice. And my marble brick covers. Whoops, that didn't work. I want you to be right there. There. And there. And why not there, there, and there. And I need one more. Luckily, I made several stacks of them. I was planning to, uh, whoops, there we go, nice and neat, you can see we're pumping quite a bit out, because this one back here doesn't have any in it, and this setup is not as efficient as the one we had, the one we had was make sure not to uh, waste charcoal. This one does waste charcoal, but always make sure we have plenty of power. Likewise, the setup we had here was pretty efficient because it only came on when we told it to. But now it only comes on. It comes on automatically. And this last one down here, as you can see, is going to waste some charcoal because it will be burning with nothing in it. But eventually all these will be filled up. Life will be good. You're full. You're still getting topped off. You're still getting topped off. You're still getting topped off. I assume that means that this is finally full. Yes, it is. Good, good, good. Let's take off our Troy's jet pack, which I found a projectile uh, 4 uh, enchanted book and managed to get an enchant on this. load so fast and then refill so fast hehehe <laughs> alrighty I think that's enough fun with gates today uh, today we've shown a uh, better uh, well I think a better uh, experience trap uh, shown how to automate your uh, experience farm here with your uh, charcoal and yes I know I could uh, use a gate or something to pull the charcoal out, but then you wouldn't get the experience. Alright, I think I'll let this run until it uh, finishes off and then call the night. Uh, this is Uncle Troy signing out. Please have a good night.